Welcome, Impactful Parents. Today, we're going to talk about how this mom is handling her six-year-old twins' big emotions. Hello, my name is Christina Campos, founder of The Impactful Parent. Welcome to my Inspire and Learn series, where real parents come on and tell their story of inspiration and learning. Because a wise man learns from his mistakes, but a wiser man learns from other people's mistakes. And today, we're going to learn from Kate Biarbida. Kate is a stay-at-home mom living in Sweden. She believes in growing in empathy and compassion through listening to people's stories and sharing her own stories of adversity. Kate is here to normalize mommy challenges and share her personal struggles of raising an emotional, two actually emotional little girls in a country where parents do things very differently. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Christina. Oh man, it's intimidating. Like it's intimidating to talk about struggles. I know that's something that a lot of people feel really closed about because in the parenting world and in the world in general, there's just so much fear of judgment. So I kind of thought that I would maybe just be talking about how much I'm sucking at things and maybe that can make some other parents feel better about themselves. But no, it's so I I I'm, I don't just suck. I also have some tools, but I am by no means a guru, and I have a long way to go. But actually, today something really amazing happened. We got uh, the opportunity to talk to someone who could help us deal with our girls because it's tough right now. They are there are meltdowns pretty much daily. If we have a bedtime that does not involve screaming and running off and slamming doors and misunderstandings and then it's it's a magical unicorn day. I'm glad that you're here just to even be candid with the parents and just say, hey, it's not all peaches and cream. We're all struggling. It's just that we all keep it behind closed doors. We're not trying to put it out to the world because like you said, it's embarrassing. There's definitely a stigma there. And I just want to clarify that impactful parents, we are not perfect. I have four kids of my own. It is really, really difficult. And like even the programs that I offer, behavior management program, it's an online course that I offer. Why? Because I was there. I was in your shoes. I did it too. I had a kid that had huge anger management issues. I also had another kid that struggled with anxiety. And so it's like, I get it. We actually had to go through all the bad stuff to come out on the other end. And I am so glad that we're normalizing that it's hard. It's really just difficult. I, I, yesterday was not a good day for me. I have a newborn to almost two months old and I had some editing work to do. That's my job. I edit for a couple of other YouTube channels and I got him to sleep and he was napping and I was getting ready to work and the girls were yelling and woke him up. I got him to sleep again and they woke him up again. And I just screamed and screamed and screamed. Play quieter. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's this is like one of the big problems I think in life is the more that you want something or need something to happen in your timetable, the more you're setting yourself up to lose it. But like going to a Zen place of what happens, happens. That's what I'm really trying to do of just, I'm going to get as much done as I'm going to get done today. And that's it. So we can't change other people. We would love to like force our children to do certain things, but that's an uphill battle. And we would love to change definitely people in our lives. But really, we can't. So the only thing we can do is change ourselves and how we look at things and our own perspective. And it's so hard to also change yourself and how you think. That's not an easy battle uh, to go to either. There's a lot of work that has to be done in order for you to change how your mindset is. But it is a definitely a struggle worth doing. It is time worth taking if you can be there because it does settle off everything. Your stress levels will come down. Suddenly the things in life, you start to focus on what's really important and it's great. Yes, it's exactly it. We start to change ourselves and who we are. So I love that you figured that out and you're learning it already because yeah, some of us don't learn that 
ever. Yeah. Oh man. And something that I'm really trying to teach them, but I, I know I need to spend a lot more time actually doing it myself is teaching them that I am not my feelings. I'm not my thoughts. So when my, when my girls is, she's, we tell her every day we love her, but sometimes she just gets it in her head that she's bad and that nobody loves her. And I don't know where the heck this came from, but we're like, no, when you have these thoughts, talk to that thought and say, Hey thought, why are you saying that? I know I'm good. I know I'm loved. And I know I need to take a lot more time to really call out my thoughts when they pull me to a dark place and say, Hey thought I'm a good mom. Shut up. And that's true. So what those thoughts are, those are called thinking traps and thinking traps is when basically our brain gets stuck on these negative thought processes that don't serve us, are lying to us, making us feel bad. And honestly, they trigger anxiety, anger, all these other emotions because we're thinking these bad things consistently. It's like our brain is a broken record. And so you see it a lot in adolescents because adolescents are going through new changes and things. And so they'll say something like, I'm just stupid. That's I can't do it. And they say it over and over again before you know it, they believe it. And so, yeah, if you want to change behaviors, uh, one of the things that I teach too to help parents teach their children how to change behaviors is you got to start with some of the mindset things and really work with your kids on being positive and not letting those thinking traps take over. Because just like you said, oh my gosh, being accepted for who you are and not what you do is so important for kids and for adults too. I mean, we all know we we all make mistakes and we don't want to be judged by our mistakes. We can be, we want to hold our kids accountable for their mistakes because, you know, there's consequences to life, but we don't want to hold it against them forever. And that's really what we're teaching them. So, oh man, I really hope that you can work with your child because that seems like where she's at. It's like just getting stuck in those places. It's, it's so hard to see it happen, to see the, to see the, her countenance change. It's like there's there's three different kids. There's the kid who's like, I love you. You're the best mom in the world. And there's the kid that's putting on this bravado of, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. You suck on that. And then there's the kid that's just broken, like, I'm nothing. But it's, it's bizarre. And exhausting. But, yeah. Oh, gosh. Very exhausting. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that you're like, it's struggle like that in your household, but so happy to hear that you're talking about it because 90% of us are doing the same thing. So that's the thing. We got to this amazing opportunity. We were recommended from the girls daycare to get some help, to get some tools. And like, one of the things that really stuck out was five to one. Um, if you have, say something encouraging and uplifting and positive to the kid five times before you have one demand from them, like getting to getting your pajamas on or whatever, like, huh, we, we knew we were supposed to encourage and all that stuff, but actually having a formula for it, two-step formula, but it's still a formula. <laughs> No, but it works. And that's wonderful. I'm so glad that you're giving that tip to the audience because it does help. Then we can keep track for those of us who are want to hold ourselves more accountable for the things that we do. And we say to our kids, we can start to count those five things because we all know we've been there. We know that if somebody says your hair sucks, I don't like that hairdo you got to think. And hundred people say, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. Only thing you hear in your brain my hair sucks. And it takes so many more positive things to outweigh that bad thing. And I think as parents, we, we just forget that we're throwing out some negative stuff to sometimes to our kids. Tell me a little bit more about living in Sweden. You're in a completely different country. How is parenting different over there? Well, there are a few things. I never parented in America, but I did grow up there. So there's a few mindset things that are so totally different from the American perspective to the Swedish perspective. And there's this thing called Jantalagen. And that is a very odd thing. You, I recommend looking it up because it's fascinating. But it's this set of 
internalized kind of beliefs that like include don't think that you're anything special don't think that anyone cares about you don't think that your problems matter it's so different it's so opposite to america um, another big difference in Sweden to America is that it's actually against the law to spank. And I'm sure that's a big old hot button issue amongst the parents. But, you know, I grew up being spanked. So I assumed, yeah, that's what you do. But my husband, oh, man, he grew up here. He is Swedish. And he's like, we don't do that. You can never lay a hand on a child. And. I'm glad that we discussed this before we had kids, so I, it wasn't a shock, and I could have some time to really adjust my expectations to that. And now I definitely, definitely can't even imagine it personally. I don't judge people. Each kid is different. And people have to do what they what works for them. But not yeah, that's that's a big difference. Tell me more about what creative things that you do, and how does it help you. We need something creative, something for us. Even if you may think that you're not a super creative person, there's something you can do, painting your nails, you know, something. But we, we need something that just fills us up on the inside. Just a little, even, even a few minutes, just a little break from all the, the, the inner clutter. So important because we're so stressed out as parents, especially moms, we tend to like think that everything should be perfect. And we're running around like crazy people going, got to do this, got to do that, got to make dinner, got to get them off to school. That sometimes, actually not sometimes, most of the time, we neglect ourselves. And I don't want to say that this is just a mom problem because it certainly isn't. But I do think that mothers take this to an extreme. We have a tendency of putting everybody else before us. And I know some dads that are just way better about prioritizing themselves and their own needs more so than a mom would. For example, I know dads that would be like, I, you know, I need a little bit. I got to go work out. I'll come back and then help you out with the kids. But they go and they do that. And the mom, the mom just, they, we fester and throw those feelings inside. So it's so important that you found your outlet, you found your creativity, whatever it is that drives you. The main thing is that you're taking care of yourself, which is yes. super important, especially in these very, very stressful times. But sometimes you just got to let the walk away from the dishes and just do something that makes you smile for your inner child. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show today. If people are resonating with you, your story, and they just want to reach out to you and maybe know more, hear more from you, where would they go? <laughs> All right. So I have a YouTube channel and it is www.youtube.com slash Epic Kate. I always say when I'm telling people about it, strangers at, at restaurants about it, like Epic Kate. It's like finding the beauty in the mundane, like find like finding what's exciting and interesting or, or, or memorable about normal life. So it's kind of normal life vlogs and it's also podcasts. I have talked to so many awesome people from a huge spectrum, from rock stars to authors to people who've gotten out of abusive situations. Like it's all about learning compassion and taking that knowledge and being a better person and making the world a better place. Getting out of toxic theology is something that has really been heavy on me for a, for a couple of years now. So that's also a pretty big component of it. If you have an inspiring story and want to share your story with the audience so that others can learn from you, please go to theimpactfulparent.com slash work with me and sign up. And I hope today's episode brought value to you. If you want to become a more impactful parent, don't forget to download the Impactful Parent app. The Impactful Parent app is free to download and full of episodes like this one that are going to help you in your parenting journey. So carry help and tips and parenting resources right in your pocket so that you can refer to it when you need it most. Plus, when you download the Impactful Parent app, you'll be joining a community of like-minded parents that are also trying to be the best they can for their child. So download the app, it's free, and discover new techniques to make your parenting more effective. Learn warning signs so that you can stop problems before they start. And then get parenting resources that are going to help make your life easier. All of this and so much more can be found 
right in your pocket. So download the app today. You got nothing to lose. So go to theimpactfulparent.com or your app store on your phone and discover how you can step up your parenting game and become a more impactful parent. But until next time, you got this. I'm just here to help. Kate Biarg Bida, right? Is it? <laughs> oh, my brain just went empty. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, internet. There internet. it goes. Just start we're, all we're, over from, from right there. Over. Oh. <laughs> I think that would be fun. Internet, you better hang in there. Okay.